So, and I'm telling you this story to show you, but sometimes it's really not a case of, oh, she's, she got chosen because she's got followers, because she's got this body. Because, because, because sometimes it's really about you believing in yourself and believing that you can do it and pushing and putting the work, honestly. Be about it. Be about that action. It's only because I took a chance. And if you don't take chances, because I don't know how many times I stress this, then unfortunately it's not gonna happen for you. You be it, be about it, be about that action and go do it. Keep your eye on your intention. Don't let any outside distraction or your own insecurity stop you from your goals. straight into it so um obviously for the longest time as uh curve models we told you can't do that you can't be on the run why etc etc that's what you've always known that as a big girl like what is the runway for you you know um and you know we've internalized that we've believed it but i'm so glad times have changed and times for me changed when in 20 uh let me think 2015 right i got an inbox um from a designer who said that they were from Joburg and that they would be doing a fashion show uh in cape town and they wanted me to be part of it oh my gosh obviously naturally i was aesthetic and I couldn't wait to obviously ask for the details, etc. And then uh, what happened? Yeah, so that happened, and then planning started going, and um, we went for practice, and I got to meet people, and that's where I met the lady I spoke about in my How I Became a Model video, who I met, and that's where there was a relationship formed, and I also was signed from the shop so um i remember we had to like send our sizes and she was gonna do everything whilst she was in Joburg, <laughs> and we didn't even know like what type of clothing we were gonna wear but either way it went we went with it and then we only got to put the clothing on the day of the runway shop Either way, it happens. It's amazing, guys. Show stopping moments. Listen, <laughs> I get excited even thinking about it. So that's how it happened, and I got to um, do my first ever runway, and it opened very, um, a lot of opportunities in terms of first of all me being comfortable with feeling like you know what, I can do this, and I could walk a runway. But secondly, more on um being seen and being recognized um as a runway model you know that happened that was the first ever time i got to work a runway the second time i, I did see the cosmos i did see them i did see them oh, man cosmos has been doing the most here and i've never seen a plus size for a girl or a big girl or a curvy girl uh, on the runway and I thought you know what Sipagati inside <laughs> and you know what guys like I'm such a like I always say like I'm such a a go-getter so much so that when I'm not pushing myself it's very uncomfortable and I haven't been doing that for quite some time and it's scaring me because I'm like hey what 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 happened what happened girl what happened so this one time it was the year uh which year was it i think a year after following that if not 2017 
I see an ad on Kosen Gossi's page saying, yo, the um, Athi Fashion Week, which happens in Cape Town, and I always go to it to watch, and I get invited by my Kosa to go watch his shows. So, what do I do, but the brand, my Kosa. Um, so I was like, how about we change? I get to be a runway model, why not? <laughs> Shab. So, and I'm telling you this story to show you, but sometimes it's really not a case of, oh, she's, she got chosen because she's got followers, because she's got this body, because, because, because sometimes it's really about you believing yourself and believing that you can do it and pushing and putting the work, honestly. Uh, and I feel like that's how I've gotten most of the things in my life. Shab. So I see this ad, it says, um, enter. Uh, to be a runway model obviously they didn't say anything about plus size but I was like well they didn't say that I can't so I'm gonna do it so I go ahead and enter what did we have to do oh we had to go buy a Kosengosi um, item and then um, take a picture and then tag right shop so I went to San Amrita. I even got two different types of jumpsuits I got a yellow and I got a blue because I was like listen I'm gonna give you options that's the putting in the work, darling. Uh, and sometimes, I mean, it's costly, so eh. But I mean, when you reap in the benefits, it becomes all worth it. I went to go by, I had to call up a friend, please, 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 please come take pictures of me. It comes through, take pictures, or take pictures, and then I upload them, sharp. And there was this other girl who was basically competing. I was competing with because everyone else, um, wasn't like on the leaderboard type of vibe because it was obviously according to votes yo yeah? sharp and then she reposed the pictures and i was like actually hey, i should have just uploaded one that shows that nice things you know because you know those nice things sell it's standard it's the truth but she took the one way i'm like facing front forward and i looked like I mean, Maggie, I'm like, oh gosh, there's not even my, my, my million dollar smile is not even there. Eh. So I was like, already like, Ish, maybe I shouldn't have uploaded that. But I was like, ah, let's keep it moving. Hmm. So, like, and people know me as like, who's oh, oh, always entered competitions. Like, if you know, and you're a real one, you know, like me from like back in the days, you'd know that I'd always be on some tip guys, please, 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 tell them my votes. <laughs> I stronger. Sharp. So um I enter and then they're like, okay, cool. Now let's get it going. Let's um get the people to vote. Yo guys, then now where are my plus size people? Where are my plus size supporters? Where are my heavy girls? Guys, I was shattered man. Like I wasn't seeing any support. Um it was very selective few people that I could probably name and uh, in one hand but I was like you know what oh, we'll keep it going keep it flowing that night what did I do I stood up I knocked at every every's room I'm sure guys please please vote for me please vote for me please vote for me um, every person I was seeing they probably were, were even fed up I was like please tell your friends I went to reception, I was like, yo, please do this for me. <laughs> and they shared the post and I was very grateful for that. And then the girl who was basically competing with me was like, yeah, she was head to head. And she's she's a small girl, she's, she's uh, petite basically. And it was basically a combination between that and that. <laughs> And girl was from Joburg and I was already in Cape Town. I was like, no way. I cannot have uh, This opportunity taken away from me and I'm already in Cape Town. So I'm the perfect match for this. They don't even need to spend on FAs and all of that. So I was like, nah, B, this is mine. Hey, I push, I push, I push. So much so, I won and then I, people were like, yeah, no, she, she, what, bought this? And I was like, what do you mean, bought? <laughs> Guys, it was such a bad time. Like, think a lot of things were happening. I was very emotional. I was writing exams. I didn't study. Listen, I had an assignment. I didn't do that assignment. I never did that assignment. I just focused on 
winning the, the prize and I knew it's really what I wanted and deserved. Keep your eye on your intention. So I pushed in and I finally got in and was announced the winner. In fact, I even took a video and reacted to it. I'll link it here um, and show you guys the journey on how the Kosingosi gig went. So on that day, you know, come to room, my girl, come to room, and uh, yeah, guys, I don't even forgot to tell you guys, I was literally inboxing everyone. Out. Like sometimes I'd go back to uh, inboxes when I'm talking to people, I'm like, oh my gosh, I did that. Like I was like, please vote for me, please vote for me. <laughs> That's embarrassing, but I say it's worth it. Like it's it's almost like those things when they say like never mind them if they laugh at you for wanting your dream keep going and that's what i did hey the fashion show happens i meet Kosi. i never tried on a dress i never really even i didn't even give a measurement she, she brings this dress it fits like a glove yo and we keep it moving i did the fashion show we do the rehearsals come back to the fashion show listen show stop i wasn't even the show stop we were calling me show stop and then uh Kanye and i went to go do an interview um with the press outside and they're like come through we want to talk to you with i want um to do interviews with you so uh, i also have a playlist on my youtube where they've done interviews with me and i mean that's how you move and that's how you spread and that's how you get more recognition and that's how you get more work because you're putting yourself out there and if you don't ask is i'm sorry things are not gonna come to you sharp and then since then i oh, this? oh yeah i trained it guys i'm pretty sure that picture is still trending sometimes on my facebook i get pictures on on um my notifications not pictures but a notification saying you might be in this picture somebody posted it and if you somebody from wherever uk congo things like that and these big pages that make it spread like i had my what's this this top yeah so that's what happened for me and um it's only because i took a chance and if you don't take chances because i don't know how many times i stress this then unfortunately it's not gonna happen for you so you have to put in the work take the chances don't look down on yourself don't compare yourself because yeah that's the thief of joy and the thief of opportunities um if it's happening for someone praise and and help and um worship and hallelujah to them you know because your your chance is, is coming i promise you um i was scheduled to walk uh the last runway but to take a coronavirus coronavirus happened ah, coronavirus coronavirus shit is real shit is getting real shit is real so yeah so um, that's my story i hope you enjoyed it and i hope it inspires you to know that even you can do it doesn't matter where you come from who you are how you look if you believe in yourself things can happen for you i hope you enjoyed that thank you so much for watching please go ahead and share it share with your loved ones share with people who would love to hear this type of information and subscribe please please subscribe come on now come on come on thank you